Hello everyone. We'll start over. Just to prove it's October. Oh, this is take two. I don't know why. <laughs> so what's going on with me? <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with you <laughs> and all the views and all the comments. <laughs> I guess this is going to be a quick and short one that prayer does work. <laughs> I have a friend. You have a friend? <laughs> yes, I do. I've been cleaning a house. <laughs> what to throw away. What to shred. <laughs> what to just generally <laughs> throw in the trash and hope they get solid off and incinerated. <laughs> you can actually get too paranoid right now. So I'm going to give a hope message it's not as bad as it appears to be I guess today my journalist uh, journalism <laughs> went down the pipes to gulag 36 which is the only gulag you know what that is it's day camp for a uh, dissidents <laughs> and uh, you know I can't travel anymore I don't walk very well and I'm not giving in to a wheelchair uh, but two of my best uh, I call them friends because <laughs> whenever I post a comment <laughs> Somebody gives me a thumbs up. <laughs> but not here. <laughs> uh, but we prayed for Mark. A Texas news studio. And he is extremely calmed down. Yeah, he's going through Pittsville. Actually, I almost bought some land in Pittsville, which is about 10 miles from here. I'm glad I didn't. True story. I actually got fired from the farmer's market because I knew this old guy. And he was out there in the mud patch. If you look at my name now, the Little Muddy Farm, some of you some of you will say we now understand what a muddy farm is. <clears throat> I need a speaker uh, because it's not me it's my laptop speaker and the last day I talked to him at the market he had laid under his tractor for three days screaming and hollering and finally a neighbor came by to check on him. Got him out of there. And he picked all of his green beans. And he brought them to me to sell them. So there in front of the market, I did the charitable thing. I gave him some money for his green beans and... Uh, I guess I got a thumbs down. <laughs> From the Lee Summit Farmer's Market. So let's talk about Lee Summit right now. If I really had COVID, which I tell you, it's just a, was a cold. I said it was up, out, and I stayed home. So this evening, I went to Aldi's. 
and thought I'd see what I could get for twenty dollars. Because <laughs> usually, cut off. Well, you know, somebody bounced a check on the farm. Means I get the farm back. Means they go to jail. Or I'm the perfect Christian. Oh. I'm so sorry. I can understand. <laughs> yeah. I never wanted to go back to Knob Noster. But that's how the Lord works. And that's why in this uh, influenza book about delirium and dreams and visions... I'm probably totally as nuts <laughs> as the squirrel next door <laughs> that steals all my ch ch uh, chest nuts. <laughs> no, I'm not making a joke, but what am I going to do if I get it all back? It's already selling at twice what I sold it for three years ago. I don't know. There must be a purpose and a reason for it. But I'll tell you, the last two days, and this is why I know I don't have uh, the C virus, Corona. Uh, three days ago, I woke up smelling fresh paint. And so this afternoon, just to make sure I could shop for seven weeks of eating. Because usually it's $50. I'm pretty close every week. I did it for 20 this time. And I looked up on the Lee Summit website about masks. Masks, M-A-S-K, vaccine mandates, and I mean, everybody was out in their car. Every fast food restaurant has opened. I go to the Lee Summit website, <laughs> I guess we're the last to know. And I live on the edge of town. And I mean, as soon, because uh, you know there's a Sonic down the street, and <clears throat> I could smell it, because you know I cook all my own meals. Grease is in the air, and so on my way to Aldi's, I had to stop it. But I didn't stop. I slowed down, looked in the rearview mirror. Don't make it rear-ended my age. And they're right next to a car dealership. And I thought it was a parking lot for the car dealership. I mean, there were hundreds of cars lined up waiting to go through the drive through So I went on down the road and got enough sandwich meat and canned goods to go with what I already have and thought I'd go the other way and as you all know I don't have an air conditioner in my car but it's only 70 today so I had the windows rolled down and maybe it's because I cook all of my own meals but I mean the whole city smelled like french fries hamburgers cheeseburgers fish and fries I'm pretty sure it could almost smell a milkshake. Is that delirium? <laughs> Watch my last video. I may read it. It's only like 10 pages. Which means you all would probably get really bored with it. Uh, but we prayed for Mark. And, uh... 
I'm one of those, uh, I don't care whether our, <laughs> I don't know about prophets or prophecy or, I guess know about studying the news and staying on top of it and, uh, I read a lot. And I just simply sent a message. And, which is the one I just gave you. Calm down. Don't be angry. Take a break. See, I've already been through all of this. Sometimes the older folks hang on long enough to get their affairs in order. Well, anyway. I don't think the world's ending this year. <clears throat> I think they put a band-aid on it. <laughs> and I tell you, I've had some really good band-aids <laughs> in my time. <laughs> so I just thought I'd throw this out there. I can't come up with a good ending. George Gammon. The rebel capitalist. <laughs> a lot of times he gets, makes a statement and just ends it. And sometimes, you know, I try to end it with some sort of moniker or something. <laughs> and of course it always offends somebody. That's the purpose of doing these interviews. <laughs> Who am I interviewing myself? Uh, no one seems to be interested in uh, Zooming with me. And that's okay. I'll probably put a name on this tomorrow. It says on the tags, you should tag the name of your video, but it only works if you've misspelled a word. Well, I don't know. I'm just no heck from the Ozarks. <laughs> Used to squares, squares, squirrels. What, you don't mind dumplings? Sure, Mom. If you want to make them, well, I can just buy. I can just buy a, you know, biscuits. You kind of rip the outside out and you twist them and you cut them in squares and you stick them in the boiling squirrel stew. <laughs> and don't bite down too hard. Might chip a tooth. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to keep putting stuff up. Because you never know. Like Mark Twain never said. It's easier to fool a person. <laughs> than it is to tell them the truth. And convince them they've never been fooled. <laughs> Words of wisdom? <laughs> I don't know. See you later.